Hi, Jason here for Chosen DTG Karate and the Art of Nintai Jitsu, and I just have a real basic video here tonight. I've had a, quite a few uh, people asking me about my ninja hood and uh, what kind of piece of cloth it is, what size it is, and how it's actually put on. And uh, I have a video where I made when I first started the account, and it shows still shot views of me putting it on because I didn't have a video camera. But I'm going to go ahead and show you me putting it on and the measurements of the cloth so you can make one just like it yourself. Now before I do this hood tutorial, I have a special announcement. I just bought a live webcam, and once a week I want to set up the dojo like this, and I'll actually have the live webcam on. I'll announce the time in the future videos, and it'll actually be a certain night of the week from maybe 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. I'll have it set up, and I'll be live webcam, and you can actually chat with me, and I'll give a link to the email in a future video. And you can actually watch me train, or if you want me to demonstrate something for you, I can, or answer questions for you immediately, other than leaving a comment or sending me a message. So that's going to be exciting, and I'll announce the email address and the days I'm going to be doing this in future videos. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing some demonstrations of just various techniques and showing footage of me training tonight. And uh, I am on the live webcam tonight, but it's only for uh, Nintai Jitsu instructors tonight only. And I'm going to be just training tonight and doing some different things. And if you see anything that you like, and at the end of the video, there'll just be a little sampler of some techniques, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll make a video on it for you or answer some questions. Thank you. And one last thing before I get this video started, uh, I have about 60 ninjutsu videos on right now on YouTube, and I can fit about 10 videos on a DVD, and I'm starting to burn some of my videos on DVDs so that I can watch them on the TV instead of the computer, and some of the kids that I see really getting involved with Nintai Jitsu and showing a good heart and uh, leaving good comments and really caring about the art, you can send me an address and I'll go ahead and send you a DVD in the future. This will all take an effect in about a month, and I'll go ahead and send you training DVDs with a bunch of my videos on them, and you can watch it in your home on the TV in case you don't have the internet at home and you view the videos at the library or something. It'll just make it more accessible. So I will be sending out DVDs of my videos and a compilation of a bunch of videos to some of my subscribers that show a lot of interest. So that's going to be really exciting, and it'll be free of charge, and it'll just be something I want to do to share with you. Now, some of you subscribers have asked about the hood you've seen in my first video and the one I'm wearing in my new videos. This is the piece of cloth. I got it folded in half right now, and I'm going to lay it down and open it up on the mat, and I'm going to measure the length and width and give that to you so you can go out and buy a piece of cloth and make one yourself, and I'm going to show you how to put it on and what it looks like. Now, here's the piece of cloth. I know it looks rather large, but if you put it on and you have a little smaller head, you can always cut the ends to your desired length, but you should start at this length to start out with, and there's a reason the size is the size that it is, because the hood is used as a tool sometimes, and I'll go ahead in future videos and tell you how they use the hood as a tool. So this cloth piece is eight feet long. by 22 inches wide. So it's 22 inches wide by 8 feet long. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on now, and then I'll show you another close-up view of me putting it on. So what I do is to start with is I hold it out, and I go to the center so it hangs about the same length on the floor like that. And I take it in my hands about like this, and I tuck over one inch of the fabric. I bring it on like this and line it up on the forehead and you pull it tight in the back. So it's just like two ponytails and you cross them. That gets it real tight on the head like that. Now the piece that's on this side, I'll line it up and bring it across. Now the piece that's hanging under goes under the chin and ties in the back one time. It's real easy to pull this down, bring it up, 
and just cinch the back a little bit. So I'll show you that putting it on in a closer view. To get a closer look at that, I'm holding it like I showed you before with the ends touching the floor equally. So I got it centered. I tuck it over one inch and throw it over my head. You just pull it tight like that. And cross it. Then you take the piece on this side. Bring it across the front and this part underneath. Now you don't want to buy fabric that's too thick or you won't be able to breathe as well. You don't want the fabric so thick so that way you can breathe. And there it is. You can pull it down, put it back on, and just snug the back. 